this one's just about to finish. I think it struggled a bit. Um, the actual file was twice as big. In other words, I reduced it in size by 50%. Now that's caused some problems. It's made the wings very thin. Thinner than it can print. So it does look a little bit rough around the edges there. This has taken just over four hours to print. If I'd have done it the full size, it would have been a 16 hour print. I think it would have looked really nice, but I didn't want to spend 16 hours printing it. So we'll let this one finish. It's an F16. Special request, could I print an F16? So that's what we've done. As I say, it looks a little bit rough in some places. Uh, what I'm going to print next is another F16 that's designed as a catapult launch aeroplane. So that will be a bit simpler in format. That will be a separate video. Well, it's just finished. It's in two sections. We'll just glue it together in the middle. So it looks a little bit rough in places. That might tidy up. Got to wait for it to cool down before it re releases off the glass plate. Well, I've cleaned it up a bit and glued it together. And it actually looks much better than I thought it would. It's no way it's perfect. As I say, because I'd reduced it in size by 50%, then things like the tail fins are actually thinner than the printer could th could print. So there's actually a little bit missing on the corner there. And if I held it up to the light, you can see through it quite clearly where it's just so thin. But I actually had visions of it failing entirely and no, that, that's not bad, but don't try and reduce it in size by 50% if you're going to print the same file. The link to the file is in the video description. Um, as I say, don't try reducing it by 50%. Um, if you've got 16 hours or a faster printer, then print it full size, because that would have looked lovely full size. I say it would have been double the width because you know, when you, if you double the width, you actually increase the volume by the square of that. So it's four times the volume, which is why it takes four times as long. This took four hours to print. It would have taken over 16 hours, but it would have looked a lot better. Anyway, there you go. A 3D printed F16 and now I'm going to print one that we can catapult launch. Thanks for watching. If you want more information check down below in the video description. If you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.